Mike Krzyzewski becoming the winningest coach in all of college basketball, passing Pat Summit with 1,099 wins as Duke advances to the Sweet 16 for its 26th time with a dominating performance here at PPG Paints Arena over seven-seeded Rhode Island. I've been at a good place and I've had great players and, and uh, had good health for the most part. It's an honor because she was a pioneer in her sport. Her sport, women's college basketball, took off because of her. It's amazing. I mean, I think this is the third like giant milestone that I've been a part of. And I mean, he's, he's the greatest coach, and he's the greatest coach there, there has been. And uh, it's really just been an honor to be able to play under him for four years and, and, and learn as much as I can from his 40-plus you know, years of basketball experience. We played really well today. I mean, you know, start to finish, it was one of our best games. And I thought we played in a very mature manner because we were playing a championship team, uh, a program that has great maturity and toughness, and, and uh, we showed that today too. These guys are, are really focused on Rhode Island. Um, we put a lot into our scouting and paying attention to who we were playing. and. And that's the result that will happen on the court when you do that. We started off not hitting all our shots, but shots were going to fall. You know, we're, we're a very talented team. And uh, as long as we continue to uh, work hard like we did, our shots started falling as they did. I'm proud of the team and how we handled today, uh, coming out in the second game after seeing everything that's been going on in the tournament. Just being able to go out there and play hard, even though we, you know, Everybody else has been getting knocked off and, and things like that. So I'm, I'm very proud of this team. So the Blue Devils pack up their bags here in Pittsburgh, head home, then get ready to hit the road again and head to Omaha. They'll face the winner of Michigan State and Syracuse in that Sweet 16 matchup. For now at PPG Paints Arena, Bridget Condon, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.